welcome back once again. Today, I'll walk you through how to get started with Vue.js and ASP.NET Core using the Visual Studio 2022. By the end of this video, you will have a basic understanding of how to set up a project that combines these two technologies. But before we do so, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Also, like and share the video as well if you can. So let's get straight into it. Before we begin, we have to make sure that we have the following installed. You gotta make sure that you have Visual Studio 2022 or the later version of it, okay? And you gotta make sure that you have not Node.js and npm as well. So let's have a look at it. If you've already installed a Visual Studio, let's open a Visual Studio installer and then click on modify. If you click on modify, it will you'll be taken to this part, yeah? So here we have to make sure that we, we check this box, ASP.NET and web development. So basically this will help you build web applications using ASP.NET Core, ASP.NET and standard based web technologies, including HTML, JavaScript, CSS, and JSON. You have to also make sure that you have this box checked, then Node.js development. This also helps you build scalable network applications using Node.js and an asynchronous event driven JavaScript runtime. Okay, we're not gonna look too much into that, but you have to make sure that you've got all this batch installed. If that's the case, then let's go ahead and open the Visual Studio and go ahead and create a new project. So here, obviously we've got a bunch of projects that we can select, but let's go ahead and type in the view. So this is what we get. So we get a standalone TypeScript view project, uh, which is a TypeScript, uh, TypeScript view project template, which is bootstrapped by running your global install of view and npm. Okay, and we've got standalone JavaScript view project. We've also got view and ASP.NET Core, yeah, which is what we're going to do. Okay, so but, so what we do. Okay, so the view and ASP.NET Core is a full stack application with front end view project and a back end ASP.NET Core project. Okay, so let's go ahead and select this. Okay, so one, one more thing here. So, as you can see here, we've got two projects here. So, there's one, one project uses JavaScript and the other uses TypeScript. So, you can select what is applicable to use. Uh, if you want to use TypeScript, you select TypeScript. If you want to use JavaScript, you select JavaScript. So for this video, we're just going to select any of them. So let's go ahead and select the JavaScript, okay? Click on the next. So here we can configure our project, yeah? By giving our project, I mean, a solution name, yeah? So this is a solution name that will let it retain, okay? So we go ahead and click on next. And then create a new project uh, a new folder so we check on this box create a new folder okay so we go ahead click on next so here we can configure additional information like the framework and on how to configure the https and whatnot we're not going to look too much into that but you can take your time and have a look if you've got any issues you can just check on this bit here so and you'll be able to get a little bit of um, a hint or you can drop a line on the, on the video comment and, I, and I'll respond. So let's go ahead and click on create. Might take a while. So as you can see here now, we've got the project created for us. So let's go ahead and explore the project structure. So let's have a look at the key folders here. We've got um, let me collapse all of them for us to see. So we've got viewapp.client and viewapp.server. Yeah, so basically we've got one front end and one back end. One project for the uh, for the client side and 
and the other for the server side. So let's go ahead and explore. Let's look at, I mean, the client app contains the view, view.js application, okay? And, and then the, the server contain, contains a, a control. Let's have a look at it. Okay, so first of all, let's have a look at the, the server. So here, this, this is just a normal ASP.NET Core app, uh, project, okay? Contains a bunch of files. So first of all, let's have a look at um, the controllers folder. It contains the weather forecast um, controller. So basically, this is just um, to, uh, to produce. I mean, I mean, web, web, I mean, weather details. I mean, so the weather details, and it's got a get method. Get the <coughs> the weather forecast details okay like the date the temperature and whatnot okay so basically this is what if uh, the client requests this and then the, the web um, the weather forecast de details will be sent to the client okay and then the program.cs contains the configurations for the for the server project okay so it actually configures the whole projects, but we're not going to look too much into that, obviously. So I'm just going to collapse it. Let's go ahead and have a look at the client. So the client con contains a public folder, source folder. Let's have a look at what is inside. So the public folder contains the static files, like I mean, like the image and CSS and whatnot, yeah. And then the source contains. We've got as you can see, we've got assets got components, got the app view, and then the main.js. Okay, so first of all, let's have a look at the main.js. So this is this is just a very simple JavaScript to create, uh, to create the, uh, um, the view app, yeah. So let's have a look at the, the app.view. So this is what we get here. So basically, We have a very simple HTML inside a template, yeah. And then we actually import the hello world from the component. So let's go ahead and have a look at what is inside the component. So as you can see, I've got hello world view inside the components, yeah. So as you can see here now, it's, it's a very simple stuff, yeah. Not very complicated. So as you can see, we've got this um this. Uh, this is the template and then this is our API call it's calling the get from the, the server to produce the um, the weather I mean the weather forecast details here yeah? so as you can see here now that's that's exactly what is being done yeah but we're not going to look too much so let's go ahead as you can see that it's already running for some reason but I'm just I'm just gonna pause it for now So let's let's have a look at this bit here. So here, let's uh, we select this bit here. Uh, we drop down and select configure startup project. Okay. So as you can see here now, the uh, both project I mean it's configured to um, it's configured for multiple startup projects. Okay. So if you open it and it's on a um, single start project, make sure you put it on multiple startup projects. And make sure you've got the server first. You want the server to run first before the client. Yeah, if that's the case, then we can click on OK. And now let's go ahead and click start to run it. So as we can see here now, we've got the, the project running now. So this is the server. Everything is running fine. And let's have a look at this. So this is the server in a browser using the Swagger. So basically, you can you can <coughs> you can check the I mean the get the weather forecast details from here to see if everything is okay. Yeah. So you can check it from here.
everything is fine so let's open it the client so as you can see here for the client side too everything is okay yeah so there's no there's nothing complicated here right so i'm just going to leave this video here for now but you can obviously explore it further yourself so please once again if you're if you're not subscribed to the channel please make sure you do because i've got lots of videos coming up and have a lovely morning afternoon evening wherever you are Peace.